let's learn how to inspect web elements also let's learn about find element method uh, a click method and finally send keys method in case you're a beginner i would advise you to watch this video completely as this is one of the most important concept to learn in selenium so let's begin considering bing.com as an example so this is a web page a web page is composed of web elements so all these things the search bar the images present here the left button and the right button everything are web elements and each uh, web element can be uniquely identified through various ways through id through name through class name through xpath and uh, selenium provides uh, various other methods so in order to inspect a web element uh, you could uh, inspect by two methods so the first method is suppose i want to inspect explore all you are going to do is move the mouse a mouse uh, onto explore and right click on it now click on inspect element so as you can see a new pop up window appears and this element can be identified through id here so this is the unique identifier to identify explore scp15 uh, the second way of uh, identifying uh, elements is press f12 in your keyboard so now let me press f12 on my keyboard as you can see a new pop-up window has come so in order to identify any uh, web element of your choice inspect uh, any web element of your choice all you're going to do is click on the cursor icon here I'm going to click on the cursor icon here and place it over any web element suppose I want to find uh, inspect uh, the search bar I'm going to place it here and I'm going to click on this so this element also can be identified through ID so SB underscore form underscore Q is the unique identifier to identify uh, the search bar so let's begin writing a program so in the namespace section let's add openqa.selenium and since I'll be using Google Chrome browser I'll be adding selenium.chrome so let's begin writing the main program iWebDriver driver is new Chrome driver so this statement will create a new instance of Chrome, uh, Chrome uh, browser and uh, let us navigate to uh, bing.com using the go to URL method bing.com so now uh, this is where the main uh, program starts we want to search breaking bad here and we need to click on this so to do this first uh, we create a new web element uh, as name bb and we instruct the driver to find the element by id and let's go back to this page so in order to inspect the search bar we're going to click on this and we're going to place it on to this so this uh, is the unique id so let's copy this sb and let us place the id in our program so let's place it here so we need to send uh, we need to send breaking bad in into the search bar so we're going to use the send keys method the send keys method uh, is nothing but it's going to send the keystrokes uh, to the desired web element so we are going to send breaking bad here and now uh, we've entered breaking bad and we need to click on the search symbol here so again we're going to uh, click on this cursor and we're going to place it onto this so as you can see this is the unique id 
we're gonna copy this in our program so let's get back to our program i let's declare a web element as search and we instruct the driver to find the element by id again and uh, enter this so search dot click so the click method performs the left click uh, operation of the mouse as simple as that so let's uh, run our program So it's going to create a new instance of uh, Chrome uh, browser. It's going to navigate to Bing.com. As you can see, it is creating Chrome browser. And navigating to Bing.com. And it's searching Breaking Bad. Hooray, finally we have done this. Uh, breaking bad so also you can uh, find uh, through various ways apart from id uh, you could find uh, through class name cc css selector id link text uh, there are various ways xpath and let's go to google.com let's try out uh, some other ways of uh, finding element so let's go to google.com and suppose we want to click on sign in all uh, we're going to click on this cursor icon and place onto this so this is again id uh, since we have done id i'm not going to do that again what about gmail yeah you can identify through class name here so let's click on uh, gmail uh, go to google and click on gmail so let's copy this let's get back to our program and here let's change this to google.com and find element by class name and uh, let's put that id which we copied now we have to click on it so bb.click method let's run our program so it's creating a new instance of chrome browser it's going to go to google.com and it is going to click on gmail yeah so this is it uh, in case you want to learn about uh, xpath i have uh, added the link uh, a video link in the description and thanks for watching this video in case you like it please subscribe